a snake down here, probably a cobra. Yeah, guys. Yeah, in the bush, isn't he? Yeah. How big is he? Well, that big. That big. Alright. He's a cobra, I'm sure. Here he is. He's a little cobra, we'll bring him out here over on the lawn. <laughs> out here over on the lawn. <laughs> Have a bit of a look, shall we? So he's a little monosolate cobra. And these guys will... These guys usually breed in the spring around February. Laying a fair few eggs. Over yeah. 20 eggs. And, over um, 20? Yeah, yeah, over oh, 20. God, just what I want to hear. They, they manage to time their uh, time their breeding so when the eggs hatch, it's near the near the wet season and there's lots of frogs out and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so this one's probably about three months old, and uh, yeah, they, they pop up in strange places. We got one out of a restaurant probably about two weeks ago. That's same size. Right? Yeah, same size. <laughs> there you go guys, one more cobra. Have a look at him. The little fella. Under places like this, dry, bit of tin. There's usually uh, critters. Moving under here. This guy. Type of toad. He's got small venom glands on the top there. And uh, a lot of snakes will try and eat these ones. One's in Australia, if the snake eats it, the snake will usually die. Sometimes you find a snake with a dead toad hanging out of his mouth. But uh, those little glands on the top, if I give that a bit of a squeeze, there should be some stuff shooting out of there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but... That's sort of white pussy, that's the venom. And that protects him against predators. Now usually they don't just spray it off. Sometimes if you step on them, they will spray it off. But usually, oh, there we go. Getting a bit of spray action now from the other end. <laughs> so, Toad, we we'll pop him back anyway. There you go, mate. If we come and have a look over here, this is where they found the snake. This is his victim. It looks to me like the Toad was probably a little bit too big for the snake to swallow, but maybe also he released some poison and the snake didn't like it, so he let him go. But either way, he's finished. As they say in Thailand, Mot Lao, he's gone. Actually, I better wash that off my hands, a bit of frog venom, toad venom, and uh, a bit of cobra venom. Okay, we've uh, come to a bit of a secluded area, and uh, let our little cobra go on his way, away from Han's way, hopefully he won't bump into any more humans again. There he is, and there he goes on his way. And there he goes. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after, and promote Mother Nature together. Don't forget to tune in next week so you can join us on our next adventure and see you next time.